Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Resurrection Motorsports. In today's episode, we're doing another product review. Another Chemical Guys product. I told you before, I really like using their stuff as a weekend warrior, non-professional detailer. Uh, I think their stuff is awesome, and I, I think you get professional results with their products. So, in today's episode, we're actually gonna be reviewing two of their products. Uh, one of them I have used before. It is the Diablo Wheel Cleaner for all wheel types. It is pH balanced, 100% pH balanced and oxygen infused cleaner. I bought the concentrate and mixed it into the spray bottle that I had from buying this product before. This is actually a really good product. I'm gonna show you guys how it works here in just a minute. The other product that I'll be using today that is theirs is this guy. Kind of funny shaped cone looking thing. They call this the Ball Buster Speed Polishing Drill Attachment. Can you even use a product with a drill and not like make sure your battery's charged and test it and all that good stuff? Anyway, from their website, it says, the Ball Buster is the soft foam cone that attaches to your favorite power drill to blast away dirt, tarnish, brake dust, and grease with just the squeeze of a trigger. Use this polisher to transform your drill into a cleaning machine. Quit busting your balls cleaning your wheels. Scrub away filth gently and effortlessly. We'll be testing that. Mount to any power drill. Clean wheels and hard to reach places faster. So, in today's episode, we'll be using my wife's car to test this because it's a daily driver. It's got factory brakes, factory wheels, and let's just see how it works. So let's get to the car and get into it. All right, so, as I said, factory Nissan Altima wheel. Regular factory brakes still in the car, so it's got regular road grime, dirt, stuff like that, brake dust. Oh. Nothing performance related, so it's not heavy ceramic, brake dust, anything like that. It's just regular, normal daily driver stuff. So I'm gonna spray this down, get it nice and wet, then cover it with the Diablo cleaner, break out the, the ball busting brush, whatever Chemical Guys calls it, <laughs> it cracks me up. And we're just gonna see how well it cleans the wheel and everything in it and see how the brush stands up to the aluminum wheel. So let's get into it. All right, there you have it. Uh, I didn't bust my balls cleaning this wheel. Came out pretty good. Uh, I will point out, if you guys watched the time lapse, the battery on my drill died halfway through that. So I cleaned it by hand one time. I see a couple spots, you look real close down here, a couple spots I missed cleaning that wheel. Um, probably just the angle of trying to get the cleaner in there. And again, it wasn't spinning, but it still did the job. Uh, I did notice halfway between cleaning it the first time and second time I missed a couple spots, but for just a quick, like, I didn't even spend, I don't know, 10 minutes cleaning this thing. Between the Diablo wheel cleaner and that brush, this thing came out pretty good. If I was actually detailing the car, I would spend a lot more time, you know, scrubbing, making sure I got every crevice and cleaned it out. But I just wanted to see like a, a quick once over with the brush, how the brush performed and how the, and show you guys how well this wheel cleaner performs. I thoroughly am impressed with this Diablo wheel cleaner stuff. So again, I highly recommend it. Another great job by Chemical Guys. Great product. I sprayed it on the tire. You can see the difference in how clean the tire came out just from spraying it on, letting it sit, and using the pressure washer to clean it off. I do have a filter hooked up to the hose that I use on the pressure washer. So that water comes out nice and clean and should be spot free because it's, it's actually a filter for an RV drinking system. So it should clean the water of most of the contaminants that would cause water spots. So I'm gonna get the rest of these wheels cleaned up and looking sharp, again, after the battery charges. <laughs> but let's do a recap. All right, there you have it. Ball busting brush. I'm very happy with it. Uh, I think it works great. Clean the wheels and the crevices pretty good. 
You have to make sure you check your angles when you're in those like little V corners and stuff. Make sure you get it at the right angle because of course if it doesn't touch it, it can't clean it. That's kind of common sense. But anyway, again, the Diablo wheel cleaner worked great. You guys saw the results. I did notice upon closer inspection, the uh, some of the polished surfaces have water spots on them. This car is parked outside, sprinklers run on it. Again, like my truck, uh, the Mustang is really the only thing that lives in the garage, <laughs> selfishly. Anyway, uh, but this the, the polished and painted surfaces have some hard water spotting on them. I will use the Chemical Guys heavy duty water spot removal, which is what the last product review video was on. I'll use that on the wheels to get rid of those, probably spray it down with the Diablo cleaner one more time to neutralize that, and then they'll look better than brand new in my opinion, because brand new cars don't look that great. They come with paint defects and orange peel and dirty wheels, and so on that note, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and as always, eat, pray, wrench. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh,